आप क्या खा रहे हैं लुकिंग सो यंग लेट्स नॉट अवॉइड everything is it true like eating insects is healthy there is no alternative to physical activity the difference between gluten free and being vegan i'm going to burst this myth today is fruit sugar healthy it's not the uh, ghee or oil which is bad it's sugar which is bad diabetes can be reversed through diet factory farmed hens we do not know how they are fed why do we need protein externally stone's milk or cow's milk हेलो वेलकम टू आर संडे पॉडकास्ट प्रॉब्लम क्या है तो आज हम बात करेंगे एक ऐसी चीज के बारे में जो बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है और आप सबका फेवरेट भी है खाना मेरा मतलब फूड और खाने से मेरा मतलब गोलगप्पे या मोमोज नहीं है गाइस जैसे कि हम जानते हैं कि आजकल की हेक्टिक वर्क लाइफ की वजह से वी बेली गेट टाइम टू वर्क आउट और इसकी वजह से पीपल हैव स्टार गोइंग फॉर डाइट लेकिन क्या हम जिसे हेल्दी समझ रहे हैं जिसे हेल्दी समझकर खा रहे हैं क्या वो सच में हेल्दी है वेल पीपल हैव स्टार्ट बिकमिंग वीगन दे हैव स्टार्ट कटिंग आउट ऑयल कम्प्लीटली दे आर अवॉइडिंग मिल्क एंड दे हैव कम्प्लीटली चेंज देयर मील प्लान्स पर क्या जो हम कर रहे हैं वो सही है वेल टू क्लियर ऑल डाउट्स एंड टू नो अबाउट दिस वी हैव एन एक्सपर्ट विद आस टूडे हु इज़ अ रिनाउ न्यूट्रिशनिस्ट डॉक्टर प्रीति सेठ वेलकम टू आर शो डॉक्टर नमस्कार हाउ आर यू टूडे गुड ग्रेट coming here on this show it's my pleasure to be here so as we know that you see you of the jolly wellness center so my first question is what inspired you to open the jolly wellness center and what is your core aim the reason and uh, why i started the jolly is my deep passion for uh, creating uh, awareness about beauty and not just external beauty to bring in uh, the holistic wellness and uh, in all my 25 years of career i saw people offering you know a superficial aspect of wellness and health so i wanted to create a space wherein we can work on mind body and spirit together with modern science and uh, timeless uh, you know uh, ancient ayurveda treatments so that was the idea behind opening pacholi and coming up with that and the core mission of uh, pacholi is uh, as i said Uh, to bring in the uh, healthier you and uh, a fulfilled you in your life by creating uh, you know and making sure that your physical your mental your uh, emotional health is taken care because we believe that wellness is all inside out so there also the mission is to uh, you know uh, give you the best uh, treatments with best of the technology and again with the ancient therapies to balance out and for long lasting results and vitality so jaisa aapne kaha that wellness is inside out and there's also saying that the beauty which lies within comes on your face yeah. so agar hum baat kare khane ki jo kafi important hai so what kind of foods you suggest you know which can make a person look younger we simply say that how your skin looks is all about your stomach and your health so uh, it's not merely applying uh, the products on the face it's how you feed your skin that's very very important so what i feel that your diet has to be very balanced and it it has to be very nutritional and uh, with respect to all the parameters so if we have to see that you want a glowy skin first you have to really declutter your thoughts and minds and uh, you have to really be tox uh, you 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 really need to be away from toxic pe- people because that also goes into your mind before you put anything into your digestive system stress stress so i would say that uh, one has to have uh, a diet which is uh, rich in antioxidants like uh, uh, berries one can add uh, dark green leafy vegetables and uh, nuts because uh, that would take care of uh, free radicals present in the environment which actually accelerates the aging process then one can include uh, uh, omega 3 uh, fats like uh, flax seeds and avocados and chia seeds that takes care of the hydration and that takes care of that luster in the skin and then definitely your diet has to be rich in vitamin c so have lot of citrus fruits and uh, berries and uh, i would say that uh, uh, you know all the kinds of peppers your bell peppers and then uh, one can have uh, uh, broccoli and pineapple which is rich in bromelain and uh, which actually boosts your collagen levels levels in the body and um, 
don't forget to have uh, you know good hydration like uh, that's very important your cells needs to be well dipped in water because their cell synthesis happens when they are surrounded with, with good hydration and uh, you can you can have lot of coconut water have watermelon and have other uh, another sorts of juices so uh, i think with uh, with all these combinations of best of food you can have uh, enriched and glowy skin and what about the foods jo hume nahi khana chahiye you know which can dull our face beauty or i'll say you know the youngness which we look like because as though then i give some people were on diet and they are doing some things and adding some things in the diet and people are like ab kya kha rahe ho you looking so young i would say that junk food bilkul nahi khana chahiye you have to make sure that what takes how much digestive time so suppose you are taking junk food that takes lot of time and they are into your body and gut and creating lot of uh, inflammation so when there is an inflammation in the body in the stomach in the in the intestine that would definitely be coming on your face so stay away uh, go on clear clean eating uh, be well hydrated so that's the key so your your plate has to be you know diverse the diversity is the key to have good hair good skin and good health just thinking about kind of dieting key there's this thing trending uh, water cooking hmm. so do you recommend that or do you say key has to be like thoda limit mein hona chahiye because it's hmm. completely cooking in a water so i think it's quite trending these days water cooking mm-hmm. and i wouldn't say that it's trending now it has been there since ages but yes now through Insta, social media. social media now we keep talking about food because food is available in abundance so water cooking uh, we say boiling sauteing and uh, poaching so when we say boiling of course uh, all these methods uh, take care of the nutrients level and fiber level and you know these nutrients are very very sensitive so water cooking is very very good and you are not taking undue fat in your body so it's very good for heart health your heart is very happy with water cooking and and uh, your weight is also managed well but of course i always see that uh, you know uh, balance is the key uh, to success everywhere so uh, in 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 this case also i would say that one has to have healthy fats like avocado oil or maybe uh, extra virgin olive oil or maybe some amount of ghee because you have uh, fat soluble vitamins also so for their absorption you need some amount of fat so you can always club little fat then i would recommend every day you can go on a water based cooking so you say like thoda water cooking and then along then, with that yeah. have some so food. balance it out you know everything is how and what you're adopting and choosing for your lifestyle so suppose you start doing boiling uh, water cooking now and after a month you just going gorging on to the fat cooking then there is no point so there shouldn't be any imbalance in your life because yin yang energy says that you have to have balance by all means yeah so like we talk about oil oil that is the healthy oil you know we add in salads and as any that we're just drizzling we're just yeah. adding like lots of olive oil i know i know so is that okay like can we add lots of olive oil so olive oil is uh, defined and uh, uh, said as the most uh, powerful oil in uh, today's world it's a star uh, uh, of the oils so it is regarded as the best oil i would say but um, it's good because it is um, uh, mono unsaturated and it is rich in antioxidants like uh, polyphenol uh, but uh, you know we have to make sure as i said that how are you adopting things that's very important when you're planning your meals so i see people that they are they are doing frying and sauteing in olive oil which is bad because olive oil has a very low smoke point so the moment you the the moment it is heated up to a level or uh, or or to a heated at a temperature uh, beyond a level beyond a smoke point then it would break down and it would lose all its nutrients and rather it would be bad for the body so it's always good to have olive oils uh, drizzling or maybe you you are using on your dressing that's that's good for salad dressing and uh, otherwise again combine your uh, a uh, frying and sauteing with the uh, avocado oil which has the high smoke smoke point then maybe little ghee coconut oil you can use all that so it's always good to have combination so that 
you are getting all the ingredients, all the nutrients from all the sorts of the fats oils, also yeah. and healthy fats. Yes. And avoid the uh, mustard oil completely. <clears throat> um, I wouldn't say that, <laughs> but as I said, yeah. let's not avoid everything and let's not take everything. So it's the judicious selection of right kind of uh, oil at in the right ingredient or maybe the right recipe. Right. You cannot avoid oily uh, mustard oil. You can't have pickles then. Yeah, because in Indian uh, Indian kitchens, they're like yeah. the uh, first thing. Mother adds olive oil, ghee especially. So, me, uh, if I talk about myself, uh, I my day never used to start without taking parathas and lot of desi ghee in it. So, I feel desi ghee is not bad. It's about how are you, uh, you know, utilizing it and absorbing it in the body and what kind of physical activity you are doing after that? And the amount. I mean, I, I just did a video also on this. Uh, the ghee is actually healthy. Mm. People promote and weight loss. Vitamin Even D the, is there yeah. and it, it is required for fat soluble vitamins and it is very, very good. Rather, I would say that this is the best vitamin D what you get. We keep applying sunscreen and we keep applying other things. It's better to put desi ghee also on the face. <laughs> If the cow is fed well, huh? Ghee coffee, which is also very famous. So ghee coffee is also improve improvise your metabolism, mm. which is very good. Desi ghee, in any case, detoxifies your body. So when during COVID time, I recommended people to have desi ghee a lot so that their metabolism can be better, better, and uh, uh, they have better immunity. In India, ki baat hai. Agar hum baat kare ni South East uh, Asian countries ki, uh, people eat insects there, and they consider ki ye jo hum khaa rahe hain healthy hai. Is it true like eating insects is healthy? Do you feel that? I mean, even by saying you feel that it's healthy. When we do not know the ailments and the diseases going in our body, we don't even know about them. So it's just that they like to have it. That's the culture they have. And I would say that we are in the culture. We are lucky. We are fortunate to stay in India that we have a lot of veggies, a lot of grains, whole grains and legumes and options. They may not be having, that is why they have to go on to insects and animals more. Yeah, they are in dependence too much on seafood. Yeah. So we yeah. recommend that octopus, fishes. Fishes are good. Prawns. They are, they are, they are all good, but it's again the way of cooking. If you are deep frying fish, you are actually spoiling everything. So it, it is the way you are making it the recipe, the way you are seasoning it, the way you are making sure that all, all nutrients are intact. You see, in Indian kitchens, it's so convenient to use inductions, microwaves, these non-stick pans. But recently, there was news that using them causes cancer. So I would say that these induction stoves and all this is this is so convenient way of uh, if I'm talking about induction. So because um, they make your food cook faster. So this is the easiest way. Open flame is not there, so more secure. But when I talk about microwaves. Uh, we are all worried about EMF, but uh, but more than that, uh, you need to take care of the utensil or the plastic what you're using while putting for reheating or rewarming the uh, the food because uh, the leaching happens from that uh, utensil or from that plastic which can go into your food. That's bad. That chemical is bad, which is adding unwantedly in your food, and that could be bad for your health. And then your you were asking about refrigeration. Yeah, this is called so cancer. No, CS, so, see, CS. it all depends that uh, what temperature you are doing. And, you know, I, I completely believe that cook that much what you require. But the kind of lifestyle we have, I'm working. So your husband is also working. My husband is also working. I mean, the both partners are working. Then you have to do cooking for maybe a week. It's quick. Yeah, so then you have to just make sure that refrigeration should be done under 4 degrees centigrade so that you can control the bacterial activity and uh, and uh, you have to thaw things but do it accordingly so that there is no uh, microbiota happening there and you know that's that's correct. So it's it's good how you store food and how you cook food that's very important in 
your uh, microwave cooking and uh, induction also to agar hum baat kare khane ke bare mein aaj kal logo ko time nahi mil raha hai to work out as we know and they are being you know stricter with their diets and this thing like people are like i'm on a gluten free diet so what is the difference between gluten free and being vegan the core difference so first of all i would like to say that there is no alternative to physical activity mm-hmm. so you can't say that i'll be on diet or i'll be on gluten free diet or i'll be on vegan i'll be vegan and then um, i'll lose weight or i'll be healthy physical activity is very important and recently i shot one video wherein i simply said that thermic action of food is minimal that would not affect and give you weight loss but yes we are talking about gluten free diet here so gluten free diet is for them those have celiac disorder or maybe they have some digestive disorder but just taking gluten free diet like as a as a as a hobby or as a fashion is not correct uh because gluten free when we say that uh, people start taking those uh, you know uh, packed foods and packaged foods and uh, which is which are already you know stripped which which is which are uh, which lacks nutrients and uh, which lacks fiber which is very very important part of your nutrition only if you have gluten intolerance then only go for gluten diet and gluten free diet and vegan diet are not same they are very different uh, in vegan uh, diet you actually go uh, you know and you uh, avoid uh, animal and dairy products so then also uh, it's very very important to see that how vegan diet is helping you with respect to uh, you know is there in uh, their proper vitamin b12 iron and uh, omega 3 you are getting properly or not vitamin d is there or not because vegan diet lacks protein so you have to make sure that you have good amount of protein then you can go on vegan diet just go don't go on vegan diet because you want to go on vegan diet yeah so you have to your plate has to be your as i said the idea is that balance the the, the balance and the best option chosen for your body it has to be healthy it has to be balanced making sure that you are getting all macronutrients and micronutrients in the diet and you also recommend uh, having lots of fruits but uh, there are lots of fruits in jisme bahut sugar hota hai so is fruit sugar healthy very good question and i would say that fructose is amazing because uh, uh, that is the best way to replenish your body with the uh, fruit sugar and your needs of sugar in the body because our body is uh you know made to take that fructose if you do not have fructose intolerance because the fruit sugar the fructose or these whole fruits they have they are rich in fiber vitamins minerals and they do not let your sugar go spike and they stabilize your blood sugar and they are very healthy for heart so i would say that um, fruit sugar is very very good which is very good because uh, if in recent studies we've seen also uh that sugar the normal processed sugar is uh, if people are addicted to it it's like cocaine addiction it's it's equivalent to that so um i would simply say that avoid processed sugar and as much as uh, fruit sugar you can take it's good for yourself avoid sugar free also that is it of okay? course of course because uh you know sugar free and all processed sugars they they work on your insulin resistance yes so it's good to have you know uh, nature has made the body and the fruits as time release sugar so our body is accustomed to that that it would take how much time to get absorbed being fiber there being water there in that fruit sugar and then at what time it will go to your uh, absorption level and uh, release the sugar in the body so this is a beautiful thing that which is called time release of sugar by the nature so it's very good to have fructose agar hum baat kare sugar ki so people have also taken stevia i think it was banned also stevia they're taking khan people are using in their kitchens because they don't want to use the sugar because it's, it's ka- diabetes yeah it's all khan it's it's brown sugar mm. it's we say jaggery they are all form of sugar it's just that uh at what level they spike your sh- uh, spike your uh, you know blood sugar levels so i would say that be on natural sugar your all food or your all whole grains legumes have sugar which is required by the body you do not need to replenish extra and the in recent studies it was found that it's not 
it's not the uh, ghee or oil which is bad it's sugar which is bad and uh, uh, gives you the cholesterol and blood sugar it's not uh, it's not the ghee actually so sugar is the major culprit so avoid sugar so it's not okay to consume of uh, course khand and brown sugar no i wouldn't recommend that even uh, i am off sugar since last 5 years and i recommend people completely go off sugar because uh, with sugar you will have bloatedness with sugar you will have knee pains joint pains because sugar absorbs water and retains water so then you have lot of water retention so it's better to be off sugar and go on natural sugar as a nutritionist i'm pas bahut sare patients aate honge you know that give us diet plans and they must be having complications some has obesity some has thyroid and many of people must be having diabetes because it's like first problem indians are facing now so there was this thing that diabetes can be reversed through diet is that true yes now there are a lot of evidences we've seen that uh, it can be reversed in due course of time but yes with you know if somebody is looking for diabetic reversal uh, diabetes reversal it's not that only food would matter uh, it is the integrated approach you have to have physical activity you you need to have mindfulness do meditation you have to be stress free so if you are looking for something like that you need to have a control on your diabetes so you have to be on a good um, high fiber diet high protein diet low carb diet and uh, you need to exercise well you need to sleep well so that your body has the good healing time so with all this integrated approach and with all this holistic approach uh, we i have seen diabetic reversal and uh, and if not reversal then a good management of medication and medicines got reduced and the better lifestyle was there for a person so yes i think a healthy uh, diet a uh, uh, healthy approach towards lifestyle because see diabetes di- uh, type 2 diabetes is uh, all lifestyle because of all lifestyle disorders so if you control your lifestyle then you can control your type 2 diabetes and which is a task which is a task you need life. you need to be highly motivate uh, motivated to do this i i am doing more research on this and uh, so intermittent fasting also helps you have control on your um, you know sugar spikes and your insulin resistance so people can try going on 16 is to 8 uh, uh, if you know ha huh, and that will help them and as i said uh you know uh, go for walk and uh, whatever you do maintain consistency so it will help doctor ke diet ki baat kare uh which is better being a vegetarian or being a non vegetarian there is nothing called bad or good when you talk which about is food as an expert both are better but but it just depends on how are you taking non veg if your non veg is coming from so so why people go on non veg because they feel it's a myth the if you'll take more protein you'll be more healthy mm. uh i would say that it is you'll be shocked to hear that it's not the protein it's again the diversity of the plate your 80% of the plate has to have uh you know natural food whole grains legumes vegetables and 20% is something that if you're vegetarian go for non veg as a, as an as an event not as a as not a main event or a main cause do not make it like a dominant feature in your meal so have your animal protein but uh, again the method of cooking it so it's not vegetarian diet is bad or non vegetarian diet is bad it's about if you are vegetarian then go on those high protein uh, things like have flax seeds have uh, rich uh rich healthy fats and uh, go on chia seeds take more uh, uh proteins uh, proteins with respect to legumes and pulses and uh, uh then you can take uh, when we talk about non veg and veg you said so it's not about if you're non vegetarian you'll be healthy if you're vegetarian you will not be healthy it's about making sure that all micro nutrients and macro nutrients are there like b12 omega 3 omega 6 so that's very very important 
nowadays a lot of people are backing off and they are being vegetarian because uh, the eggs they have been produced in factory and they are like hey, it's not good for health so they are backing off and they are being vegetarian vegan many of them so you recommend that uh, we should take eggs in today's time and everything is so much artificial factory farmed hens we do not know how they are fed because they are again fed on processed food they are they are kept in that i think confined environment wherein they are not exposed to their natural way of you know living and they are not exposed to vitamin d and sun and air so of course when they are laying eggs so what kind of eggs they would be they would be deprived of those eggs would not have the right nutritional qual- uh, quantity or quality i would say that that quality wouldn't be there like omega 3 will not be there which is good they might have uh, uh omega 6s which is more inflammatory and they'll be de- they'll not have proper vitamin a d e so it's always good to have organic eggs but people uh, uh, people just go on egg as a label that okay we are vegetarian or we take eggs we can always have other options again like flax seeds and chia seeds and we can really have these alternatives but yes uh, if you want eggs then go for organic eggs Just in But again, uh, mm-hmm. Roshni, I would like to say that that your your meal has to be so constructive, uh, made in a manner of such variety that your body is not deprived of any nutrient. So that's the essence of the talk. So if we talk about protein, key doctor, uh, there are a lot of buzz around that protein powder is not healthy. You should not take it. But still, people are consuming it now. They have nowadays they are avoiding the protein powder which has keratin in that. But do you still recommend that people who are doing workout they should take protein powder to some extent, or you just completely say that it's not healthy? So protein powder is basically why do we need protein externally when you can get that from the diet? So protein powder a is something that I would say that. uh if so a person needs protein i think 0.8 grams to 1.2 grams per kg body weight that you can always take from the the diet which is uh, which is rich in protein but if still uh, if an athlete is there we can say that you have to take uh, externally the protein powders and all but before taking it do not go on brands and labels uh see that this is third party checked for uh purity and quality and uh, they are not loaded with a sh- lot of sugar and artificial uh, additives and uh, fiber so choose the right kind of protein powder it's not bad to take but yes they should be uh, they should be supplement they shouldn't be supplementing like uh you know uh, taking your main meal away so they should be just complementing the food so it it's just that uh, they cannot replace your meal and uh, you start taking just protein powders by replacing your meal don't do that just have your protein powder and keep having your your well balanced nutritious diet so once a day it's okay to have a protein no shake. it depends on your body weight and uh, your diet plan has to be that is why you go to professional dietitians and nutritionists uh we how do we plan we make specific plans of proteins also in your body uh, we see your weight we see your lifestyle we see your bmr we see your bmi and uh, uh, then we calculate what kind of protein you need and then we give you sources and we give you options to have that so if you feel still you need to have and go on to uh, powder then also we tell you to have whey proteins so there are a lot of options available uh rather than going on powders yeah the doctor so a quick rapid fire for you you just have to say yes no or like a quick answer okay so what's better a regular coke or a diet coke nothing <laughs> sugar or sugar free nothing toned milk or cow's milk cow's milk wheat or rice both bad okay so is being vegan truly healthier yes Green smoothies, which are there, are they really a healthy health powerhouse? Provided, uh, provided they are not loaded with lot of, uh, uh, you know, only fruits. Those are rich in sugar, because again, you you strip away the fiber from when you're juicing or you're having a smoothie. So if you are having, if your smoothie is well balanced with, you know, vegetables, 
green vegetables in that, then it is very rich because that takes care of a uh, lot of micro and macronutrients. Micronutrients, yeah. As a nutritionist, you suggest uh, consuming bread, the whole grain, brown breads, you suggest? I'm going to burst this myth today. So all breads are not bad because commercially available breads, which are which is white, uh, which is made up of refined flour, definitely is without any fiber, no nutrients, no proteins. But there are, uh, again, choice, good bread, good quality breads are also available, like whole grain, whole wheat bread, whole grain bread. Then there are sprouted breads. There are sourdough breads, which is, uh, you know, you keep the flour with the, for fermentation with lactic acid yeah, for some time. And then this bread is rich in... Uh, protein and uh, brown bread brown bread is all ca caramelized so uh, again when you are taking bread don't make it a dominant in your meal have your sides with the uh, uh, you know uh, vegetables legumes and your all pulses so then the bread is good good quality bread is good because this bread would not give you instant insulin spike so again, the quality of bread matters. So to before we end our show, one advice that you would like to give to our audience to have a young skin, to maintain a diet or, you know, that have that healthy gut. So I would say that, you know, love your gut, first of all. So when you, uh, from, from starting your morning, which has to be very grateful, be, show gratitude to everything because this comes from inside and uh, do mindful activities, do yoga, do visualization, affirmation, give yourself time, release BDNF as much as possible, do some physical activity, follow that 20-20-20 approach, 20 minutes, the moment you get up, do exercise 20 minutes, uh, do reading 20 minutes, do your day plan, because if you are planning your day, I always say, then you will run the day, otherwise they will run you. And then a basic thing about water, which is vital, which we take like every now and then, there is a way you don't have to chug water, sip water because you, you don't have to flood your body with water. Your cells need just to be dipped in water and then you wouldn't be needing 16 glasses to 20 glasses of water. You would need, you would know that, okay, my requirement of water is finished. And the best, which the tip I wanted to give, when you are eating food, the, when would you when would you feel that you're you're full? At times we do overeat. Yeah. At, at times we overeat. So um, there's we this do feeling in our stomach that. We so are the moment you feel thirst, the moment you pick up the glass of water while eating, think that your your food is now good to go and you are full and your body doesn't need more. And you're done. And you are done. <laughs> Yes, yes, that's true. So you said that 16, 18 glasses. So how many glasses drink? Eight glasses? So, 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 so I always say that your 16 glasses of fluid intake has to be there, but it cannot be only water. Because if you take a lot of water, then your water soluble vitamins also will be flushed out from the body. So these 16 glasses should be of charge, should, should be of green tea, should be of your coffee with ghee, and um, then, uh, then could be of your coconut water, then lemon water, then your decoctions like everything. Uh, yeah, yeah, jeera pani, your uh, uh, beet lemon root and lemon water, and all okay. that. You know, so not just be, the edge too. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, right. Thank you so much, doctor, for being here today. It was great having a talk on you with Thank this. You so much. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you got all your answers. I'll see you next Sunday.